My name is Melanie and I'm here to do a land acknowledgement before we start our program. We acknowledge the land because it's important to know where we are and who we share space with. Are you ready? Haudenosaunee, Mississauga, and Anishinaabe nations came together with all their relations. Living together, they had a united wish to share the land and waters in peace like one spoon with a dish. Now many Indigenous families, Métis and Inuit too, live here in treaty agreement with me and you. In the spirit of peace, friendship, and mutual respect, we protect each other and the land which we should never forget. Thank you friends, enjoy your program. Hi everyone, my name is Maria from Toronto Public Library. Welcome to Summer Wonder at Home. Today we're going to be exploring a creativity challenge called Detective DIY. Have you ever heard of detectives like Sherlock Holmes or Nancy Drew? These fictional characters have many tales of the crimes they've studied, searching for clues to catch their suspects. With ongoing mysteries, they've always managed to solve the most puzzling cases. Do you ever wonder what a detective actually does? A detective is someone who works in law enforcement, like a police person. They often collect various types of information to solve crimes. Detectives spend much of their time interviewing witnesses. These are people who saw the crime happen. Detectives also collect evidence, which are clues to help them solve a crime or mystery. Close your eyes and think of a detective from a book or TV show. Hmm. What detective came to mind? What were they wearing or holding? Fictional detectives are often found using tools like binoculars, magnifying glass, and rocking the most pristine deerstalker caps. However, in modern times, detectives use tools such as GPS tracking systems, surveillance cameras, and various types of spyware. To be a detective, you need to be a good problem solver, reliable, very observant and persistent. One of the most famous detectives was Alan Pinkerton, a Scottish man who became interested in criminal detective work while wandering through a forest where he spotted a group of counterfeiters, those who make illegal money. He followed the group and tracked their activities. He later arrested them and was appointed the first police detective in 1849. For this week's creativity challenge, Try making your own detective gear at home. Detectives are good at using all of their senses. Think about what tools they might need to solve a mystery. Write down a list and have a look around the home to see what materials you could use to build your own. Be sure to ask a grown-up for help. Here, I've made binoculars using cardboard tubes, markers, string, and glue. What could you use to make your own binoculars? How can you decorate them? You can make binoculars look much cooler than mine and design it the way that you like. Here, I've made a magnifying glass. This is using cardboard, glue, and clear plastic wrap. You can also put some water on the magnifying glass and investigate tiny objects around your home or even outside like bugs, crumbs, and small fine print letters. This works because a water drop has a dome-shaped surface that bends the light and magnifies the object. You can experiment with the water by making the droplet larger or bigger to see how it affects the ability to magnify things. Use your new detective tools to investigate things around your home or even in your neighborhood. Can you think of any other tools to create to be your own detective? Give it a try. You never know what you'll discover. We'd love to see what you make, so ask an adult to take a picture of your design and share it with the Toronto Public Library on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. 
They can also use the hashtag TPL Summer Wonder. We can't wait to see what you've come up with. I hope you enjoyed today's creativity challenge. We post a new creativity challenge every two weeks, so be sure to check back soon for more Toronto Public Library Summer Wonder at Home programs. Bye for now. Thank you.